Jimmy Carter rode into the famous 50-mile waterway on a mule, the machine that tows ships into the locks. A crowd of thousands watched. Carter presided over the ceremony with Panamanian President Maria Moscoso, King Juan Carlos of Spain, and six Latin American leaders. Outside, protesters rung in the event their own way. These demonstrators were angry about America's 75-year control over the canal. But inside the locks, the ceremony tugged on peacefully, despite a mild uproar over the absence of President Clinton. Jimmy Carter acknowledged that the original canal treaties were unfair, and he told the crowd that handing the waterway back to Panama was the right thing to do. But we must pledge ourselves on part of the United States of America to be a full partner, a harmonious partner, an equal partner in answering any requests that come from Panama to make the operation of the canal even greater in the next millennium. The handover culminates the 31st when the canal officially becomes Panamanian. Earlier in the day, Carter paid tribute to Americans who gave their lives building the canal. Before a field of white graves, the former president laid a wreath in their memory.